All right, guys, welcome back to Always Die Gaming. So today we're going to go over a very important program that you should have on your computer. If you're playing Path of Exile and you want to build the best character possible, it's called the Path of Building Community Fork. So we're going to go over to the website and take a look at how to download it, uh, get it installed, and how it actually works. All right, so here's the website. It's uh, github.com, and I'll have the link in the description in the video. But basically just come here and click on one of these, either the zip file or the exe file. You're going to install it, and then once you install it, it's going to take you here. So what you want to do is, I have all, a lot of my builds here, but you won't have one. So click New. You see the skill tree here for Path of Exile. I'm going to go over here to Import, Export, Build. And then I'm going to have the Path of Building link to my Tornado Shop build in the description as well. What you want to do is copy that, click right here, and paste it. Control V, click import, and here you go. So this is my build that I use primarily for playing. I switch to detonate dead every once in a while, but majority of the time I'm just playing a tornado shot because it's it's super fun. It's expensive, but it's fun. So the basis of path of building over here on the left of all of your stats. So you have attack damage, attack rate your critical strike chance, multipliers, your DPS, your stats, hit pool, how much damage you can take, life, mana, life degen, uh, regen, energy shield, your evasion rating. If you have armor, it'll show up there as well. Spell, supp spell suppression chance, your resistances, and your full DPS, which I'll get into once we get into skills. So click over here to skills. So these are all of the items and the skills that I have in my build. So the first one here is in my body armor. It's the ballistas or the totems with also fire tornado shot. See here, I got tornado shot, focus ballista, greater multiple projectiles, ballista sto totem, elemental damage with attacks and increased critical damage. So because you have tornado shot and you can see there in red, it says fires three secondary projectiles. And then you have greater multiple projectiles that says four you're actually getting seven additional projectiles for each totem. And I can summon three, so that gives you 24. There's a lot of things in here in Path of Building that if you don't enter the numbers correctly or click on the right button, your damage on the left side over here where it says full DPS isn't gonna be accurate. You might, it might uh, confuse you if you're you know, trying to build a build and the numbers just aren't added up. So as you can see, if I change this to, let's say, 12. It drops down to 68. If I put it back up to 24, it goes 85. If I was able to get uh, another totem in there, that would put me at uh, 32 and 96 maybe. So, got 24 totems, or 24 arrows that are shot from all three totems firing at the same time. And you have, uh, it'll tell you what the items are socketed in. So I have my, my auras right here. Uh, the gems that I have in my helmet, my main tornado shot that's in my bow, and then just some more ores, movement skills, blood rage. So depending on which one, you, uh, which build that you put into Path of Building, obviously all of this is going to be different, but overall it's pretty much the same. Then these are the items. So this is every item that I have in my build, all the way from my bow, quiver, as you can see it down here on the left, helmet, body armor, gloves, amulet, all of your all the items that you have in your build. Flasks and then in your skill tree here. Just kind of scroll through these real quick. I'll go over to the tree. You can see it'll show all the different jewels that you have, gems, you know, prismatic jewels, cluster jewels. So it's a good way to, when you're trying to match a build, or get as close as you can to uh, copying a build that you might find on YouTube. You can go through here and you can uh, search on the trade website for you know roughly these kind of stats. Next we have the calculations which is just a whole bunch of math that will basically the game figures out and it, it kicks out these numbers here on the left for you. Now some of the main ones you want to kind of check out depending on your build is attack cast rate. I'll tell you what goes into your attack speed. Uh, you've got your crit chance so how often you can uh, critically strike something which will boost your damage by a lot. So every time you hit with a critical strike, as you can see right here, 
it multiplies my damage by 449%. Now there's a lot of math that goes into it, but this is just, you can't really change anything in here. It'll just give you the information. Or you can change and what will actually make a big difference in your damage over here on the left is configuration. So generally, um, most of these should be default. Uh, if you're, you have something that gives you damage on full life, which there's a gem for it, increased damage on full life. And you can check this. I'm, I leech a lot of life, so I'm pretty much always on full life, so I have that checked. And you have power charges, your frenzy charges, endurance charges, but as you can see, since I use frenzy charges, if I unclick this, my damage goes down to 73 million, as opposed to 85. So just, you know, unclicking one thing in here, leeching can make a big difference because I have damage while leeching. So 69 million, 85. And it also changes it up here too, as you can see. It goes from 5.7 down to 4.6. Have you been hit recently? Well, uh, it'll change your hit pool. So I take less damage if I've been hit recently. And then this is Trinity, it's just one of the gems that the Omni Tornado Shot uses. And yeah, you have all these uh, player defaults, map, player debuffs, map modifiers that you roll on your map. So if you want to see if you could run uh, one of the maps that says cannot leech from monsters. So that's this right here. If you click click that and turn it on, you'll see that my life leech hit on hit, on hit rate is 122.4. So every time I hit something, I get 122 life back. It isn't worse, or it's it's not horrible, but if I'm not running that, then I get 661. And I get uh, 124 mana leech, but if I run one of those maps, I don't get any. So, pretty much can't run those on this build. And over here you've got for effective DPS, so this is more modifiers that will add to your damage. As you can see, you're, they're all very dependent on what kind of build that you're playing. And over here is enemy stats. So one thing that you do have to make uh, be aware of too is basically guardian pinnacle boss so these are all the main bosses like maven uh Sirius. if you have that checked that'll give you a general idea of max damage that you can do if you do uber pinnacle bosses however which there's a in the atlas skill tree there's a way that you can make the bosses even harder uh, it drops it down a lot as you can see 25 million over there 1.6 million per arrow on that one so i usually keep it right there because the uber bosses are pretty tough It'll give you a general idea of what, what you're facing uh, when you click on that one. A little bit more so up here at the top, it'll tell you what required level that you have. So if you load a build and you're level 85 and you know the POV that you're looking at, the character level is 95, then your skill tree's not gonna have as many points to put into it. So you might not be able to reach the same amount of damage. Uh, this will tell you obviously what level you are right here build so you can scroll through here you can also create your own on here if you'd like and instead of importing and exporting it you can just click new and then pick whatever build you want so if you want to pick a ranger and then the ascendancy whatever it might be raider you can go through here and you know, plan out your build that's what a lot of people do they want to test builds without having to actually spend the time and currency in the game to see if it'll be viable to actually play. So one more thing I do want to add is if you want to import your own character into Path of Building, uh, the way you do that is you type in your account name here and then you click start. And then it'll pull up all the characters that you have in that account. So this is my tornado shot right here. So you click import your passive tree and jewels. It'll pull them all in. You can see here's the tree. And then go back to import and import your items and skills and it will import everything that you have on your build as well, all the items. If you update something, you swap out a weapon, you can control C, control V it from the game into here, or you can just import it again. But you do have to make sure if you do it on a new import that you have to go in here and modify all of this. So there's a lot to this program, but once you get once you get it going, it will definitely help you a lot as far as you know, comparing items that you might want to buy on trade and see if it's worth it. Well, thanks for watching and make sure to like, comment, subscribe, and click that bell to be notified of the next video in the series. I'll put a couple of my Path of Building uh, links in the description below as well. So you can kind of look at the different variations on some of the builds that I've used in the past.